Okay. Now we're going to do oh, wah. This is to thin the voice out. So when we go to high notes, we don't take too much weight with the voice. So it starts out, oh, and it goes to a lighter color. Oh, wah. You know how thin that sounds? Here we go, everybody. Oh, wah. Oh, wah. Same thing. Oh, wah. I-E. I-E. So the high notes feel like this. They feel kind of like that, okay? One, two, three, four, five is what the high notes feel like. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The voice is made up of three pieces. The chest sound, which is this. The falsetto, which is this sound, which is not really useful unless you're tenor. And then there's a there's a, a head voice, which is produced by shortening the chord. That's why we go, oh, wah. But there's another mechanism which blends the voice together. It's called, it's just the edge fibers of your vocal cords. So, and if you're singing with just the edge of your cords vibrating and not the whole body of the cord and not the falsetto, it sounds like that. That little tone, one, two, three, four, five. That's the glue that holds your voice together. So if you have a bottom note goes from here, if you try to go from this tone to falsetto, you go, oh, but if you get this sound, this sound in the middle, you get, ah, it goes right over the brakes. You can go, this sound can go up, it goes up, it goes down. It sounds like that. It's kind of hard to demonstrate and talk at the same time, but yeah, it blends the registers together. It sounds like they're blended together. Clarify it. Okay, now we're going to do hung. When you say the word hung, you're going to feel an occlusion in the back of your mouth where you're soft palate and your tongue hooked together when you say hung. And I'm gonna actually you put your vowels back there. We're gonna practice singing ah, a, e, o, u, starting with hung and put the vowels in the back there where that closure is. Hung, ah, like that. Here we go. Hung, ah, then hung, a. Hung, a. Feel it back there, the vowels in the back here, in, in front of your ears. Hung, e. Hung, hung, oh, hung, oo, hung, oo. So just, it just kind of, when you do the hung, you can kind of feel where the tone sits. Hung, ah, hung, e. See what I'm, so let's run them again. Hung, ah, hung, e, hung, e, hung, oh, oh, oh. One after the other. Hung, ah, hung, e, hung, e, hung, e, hung, e, hung, oh. Hung -o. they're all back there. Hung -o. Hung -o. Okay, that's a good one now. This one is done. You keep the expanded ribs, but there is no breath movement on this exercise. I know it sounds backwards, but this exercise is very specifically does not use breath pulses, okay? It, you try to hold your body absolutely still. We're gonna go uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Just try to hold the body steady if, as you can. So it's going up the scale on uh-ohs and down. Here we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is training muscles that are right above your larynx to, to move in a certain way, and you can't really control them directly unless with, except with this exercise. When you sing, don't do this. This is separate from singing, okay? Take a little higher. Mm, uh oh. Take a breath with you expand the ribs. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Okay, now that's that's enough of that. You don't want to do too much of that one because it's a little extreme. Now we're gonna do our favorite, my favorite, the quack. Okay. Quack, 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 quack. Just one of those. Here we go. Quack, 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 quack. Now we're going to take the quack and put an ah after it. We'll do up and down, just quack, ah, quack, a, like this. Quack, ah, here we go. Quack, ah, and I'll keep that quacking sound going in, in, the, in the vowel. Quack, a, quack, a, quack, e, quack, e. Hopefully it's going to make you feel like you're coming down from the back onto your voice this way. It's like your voice is coming from above, behind you, and coming down this way. Quack, oh, quack, oh, quack, ooh, quack, ooh. Because if you go, if you tend to do this, work, the quack, 
pushes you up into the head. You want to get up in the head as much as possible. So quack ah, quack a, quack e, quack o, quack oo in succession. Here we go. Quack ah, quack a, quack e, quack o, quack oo. That should make your voice sound nice and bright and obnoxious. The trick is you want the voice to be really crystally clear. What should be your voice should feel pretty loose about now. So I hope I hope your voices feel good and not beat to death. 